ruling on using emojis, especially with non-mahrams. Emojis are these yellow faces that may have an expression of someone's laughing, someone's uh, uh, insane, someone's weeping, etc. Nowadays, they have someone with a face mask. So what's the ruling on using it? The most authentic opinion, inshallah, that there's nothing wrong in using it. First of all, because we did not draw it. We are cut and pasting it. Secondly, it is not something with life in it. So it doesn't have a body, it doesn't have ears. It's not clear of human facial uh, um, features of it. So using it, inshallah, is permissible. Now using it with the opposite gender is not permissible. Why, Sheikh? Because when I'm communicating with a non-mahram, so if she's asking me a question as a sheikh, and I reply to her question as a sheikh, this is straight uh, 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 business. Nothing, no fl uh, uh, flirting, nothing uh, hanky-panky. This is halal, like you communicate with a nurse, when you communicate with a flight hostess, when you communicate with a physician. But when it exceeds that level of the sister sending me a question with tears, emojis with tears, and if I answer a question, she sends me a red heart and a rose, it's, no, this is not permissible. This is totally one of the steps of shaitan. I know in this era of Instagram and Snapchat, you guys are saying, <laughs> you're a dinosaur. This is nothing. You should have seen what we actually do and then comment on this. This is your problem. Islam sets rules and regulations to protect the Muslims from falling into haram. And these little things that you pay no attention to, which you take for granted, are among the things that would lead to haram. Therefore, it is not permissible for a sister to correspond to an mahram with such emojis because Allah Azza wa has prohibited women from speaking softly to non mahrams. So even by nature, if you're uh, soft-spoken and you have a soft voice, feminist, feminine uh, voice, you must not soften it when you speak to a non mahram Why? Allah says in the Quran, so that he who has illness in his heart would not be tempted. And so many people answer the phone and the caller has a soft voice on the other end and they fall in love with the voice not knowing that she is 85 years of age. And I would not say ugly, <laughs> though she might be ugly. People, this, is, this brings us to another topic. People are so weird. When you write a tweet or a post and you say that uh, um, you don't have to marry an ugly woman, they are so hyped. How do you dare say a woman is ugly? Excuse me. They are ugly and they are beautiful. What's, what's wrong in that? In men, they are ugly and they are handsome. So... I don't see the point. So feminists make an issue out of nothing. Sue me. I, have, I don't have a problem with that. So therefore, uh, 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 softening the voice can have bad consequences. Using emojis might have the same, if not definitely, and Allah knows best.